There are many barriers to education. One can be poverty, the other one could be scarcity of schools, the third one will be the scarcity of teaching material. Lakini, there's something else that is still a problem. That is the cost of education, and that's why we are here. I decided as a governor that we must make learning in ECDs very accommodative and comfortable children. First, by having teachers who are competent, who are confident, and who know that they get proper remuneration for their labor. You know, my fellow teachers, that to improve your self-esteem, your skills, and your commitment to your work, we decided to make you have a contract with us because you can't teach without a contract. I'm a civil. We had 700 ECD teachers across the county. And we doubled their salaries from 10,000 shillings to 23,000 shillings. I'm a civil. This was coupled with the distribution of 20 million shillings worth of textbooks and exercise books to all the 668 ECD centers across the county. So that was our first initiative. Now this is the second. And we are going to do this for all sub-counties. Today we only have three sub-counties. We also provided meals to our CD schools costing about 14 million shillings. Not forgetting the infrastructural development of ECD centers across the sub-counties that are at different stages. Our scholarship program continues to grow. In this financial year 2019-2020, we went ahead to double the budgetary allocations across the county, amounting to 350,000 shillings per ward, totaling to about 12.2 million shillings. This will help support 350 needy children across the county. We have also doubled bursary allocation, as my minister said, from 2 million shillings per ward in this financial year, totaling to 140 million shillings, 2 million, we doubled from 2 million to 4 million, totaling to 140 million, shil 140 million shillings in the whole county. In this particular distribution, we are going to distribute a total of 130,820 exercise books and 204,459 textbooks across the seven sub-counties. All this we have managed to undertake with shillings 25 million and an increase of 2 million shillings from last year. And I want to assure you, one of the responsibilities we are going to give village councils in every village is to ensure that those kids who should go to school or to nursery school, to ECD schools, at the age of four, must go to ECD schools. Those kids who have reached the age of six and should go to standard one must go to standard one. Those kids who have done standard eight examination and should go to form one must go to form one. And let us do all we can to improve and ensure that our kids have a firm foundation for the future development in their education. Thank you.